First of all, I wanted to thank you. Your uh, teachings are very practical and it's very easy to get into it. I've been using well, whatever we call the law of attraction or any of this. Many, even to the point of getting called here, I knew I was going to get called. I have a couple of questions that are separated in two parts. The first has to do with um, action or inspired action. I've gotten pretty good at identifying my rockets of desires and looking at them through different angles and enjoying, you know, the fact that I have a new uh, rocket of desire. And then when I start getting what I believe are the inspired actions to move towards that rocket of desire, I start having negative feelings or tr then, I start then, to then you're taking action too soon. In other words, you've jumped in too soon with your action, sort of like you still believe that the action is a more dominant part that it is, and you need to get in there and speed it up. In other words, when you have given enough attention to your idea and you see, let us be clear. The attention that you give to your idea is not what creates the idea. Contrast created it. The attention that you give to it is your effort and success at lining up with it. So when you get completely vibrationally lined up with your idea, now the impulse to act is so powerful. You can't talk yourself out of it. There's no prodding or motivation that's necessary. In fact, the universe is just yielding things to you and you're looking at them and you're feeling powerful enthusiasm for it. If you don't feel enthusiasm for it, the energy isn't lined up and we would not take the action. So, an example would be how would I win the lottery if I don't feel the, the urge to go and buy the ticket? Do you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, like that commercial says, if you don't play, you can't win. And That's so what I mean, but... We, un we, under we understand that motivation. And if you are looking at that one vortex as the avenue through which your abundance will come then we understand how there could be a sort of feeling of urgency about it we're just saying to you we're going to give this to you in a way that you can really hear it when if life has caused you to put a big request for a lot of money in your vibrational escrow and you're in the place where you're not even thinking about buying a lottery ticket because the means in which it comes is irrelevant to you. You're so sure it's coming. Now you're in that place. So then when you buy the ticket, it just feels like the next logical step. There's not that you don't get that big buzz or that disappointment from it. You're lined up with it. You see the words that we're wanting to find for you are these when your desire and your perspective about your desire are in alignment it feels far less than the desire you all think desire feels like it's interesting when what most people call desire is really a mixed bag of wanting something that I don't know how I'm gonna get it you've become comfortable with that mixture that feeling so it feels like excitement adventure trepidation uneasiness when you want purely there's no downside to it it just feels done it feels done and there is an interest in the way it will unfold but not a strong interest because it's done it's done we so want you to capture the spirit of that which we know when you ask it goes into your vibrational escrow and it is answered vibrationally and it is done it's done it's really it's done we can't it's done 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 we're getting carried away we want you it's done did we tell you it's done it's done it's done it's done now if there's a part of you that says no it's not I don't see it I didn't buy the ticket I don't have the money I don't it's not done that part of you that's saying it's not done is the vibrational contradiction that makes you do all kinds of things to justify the doneness of it and everything you do to justify the doneness of something that is done pulls you in the opposite direction you see so if you were to say to us 
I have been asking for a lot of money and I know it's lined up in my vibrational escrow and occasionally I buy a lottery ticket but it the lottery tickets are not important to me because I know it's done I know it's a done deal I know that it's coming and I know the way that it will come will unfold and I'm more excited about the unfolding and the fun of the unfolding than I am about the doneness of it because the doneness you've said it that it's done and now you just get the fun it's sort of like do you go to a movie to get to the end of it do you say to your girlfriend let's go to the movie and she'll say why and say because I want to get to the end of it <laughs> do, you want, do you go on vacation to get it done we're going to 27 cities you say I've got them all plotted out and when we're when we're when we've been to all of them we'll come back home and then you look at it and you say wait a minute we're already home we're done <laughs> no point in going we're done you there isn't anything that you're doing to get it done you want to win the lottery you want the pile of money it's a goal that you want we want you to understand that it's done and we want you to get your kicks from the thrill of the unfolding of it you see because there is a big thing that goes screwy with everyone who says I want to be over there but I'm not and when they say I'll be happier when I'm over there that tells the whole story they can never get over there when when being happier is contingent on getting over there they'll never get there but if they say I'm looking forward to being over there and someone says why will you be happier and you say not really I'm really happy over here why are you so happy over here when you want to be over there and you say well partly because I've seen what's over there and I'm positively anticipating it but there's so much wonderful stuff that I'm seeing that's over here and frankly you say I'm looking forward to the journey between here and there I think that was what I was born for I think I was born for this eternal expanding journey you see we know it's tricky because so many say if I could just find the lover then everything would be all right if I could just lose 40 pounds then everything would be just right if I could just get my finances in order if I could just move into that beautiful new house if I could just if I could just if I could just if it were not for this I would be happy if it were not there for this that I have my attention upon we say that's right this lack of what you want is so active in your vibration that it will not let you close the vibrational gap you see so you got a bit more than you bargained for here with your <laughs> wonderful question but we want you we we want you to understand that action people say well how does action fit in and we say it's the joyful way you express life but it's not the way you make anything happen and people argue with that because they say I see people picking up bales of hay and moving them over there and if they weren't picking them up we say there'd be another way to figure it out I see those truckloads of oranges somebody is growing them and picking them and putting them and processing there's a lot of action involved and we say yes there is action involved but the action of your world is not what's causing the expansion of it the creation of your world is about perspective and ideas it always has been you see so when we say we want you to take action out of the equation we don't mean stop acting we mean stop making action important to the creation of something make it important to the enjoying of what's been created you see the person who creates the magnificent although very plain sculpture <laughs> created it in his mind long before he was inspired to the movement that brought it about the creation happened in his mind and someone with a big clump of clay and without that just ends up with a, another big clump of clay the creation happened vibrationally mentally you see that's where it all is so now take it further we've sort of given you a basis I understand it's about the enjoyment of from where I am to where I want to be okay and, and there is this there is this edge that says we really want you to feel that if you feel disappointed about where you are in relationship to where you want to be you will, you'll never be able to be there if you feel hopeful about where you are in relationship to where you want to be you've already begun closing the gap if you feel eager about where you're going if you feel enthusiastic if you feel passion now you're on the way if you feel discouraged you're not closing the gap if you feel angry you're widening the gap if you feel frustration you're sort of stuck right where you are 
your emotions are your indication of your movement so what you're reaching for is satisfaction with where you are and eager for more it's so strange do you know that the fastest way to get somewhere else is to focus positively on where you are because step one which is your work life causes you to do that and step three which is your work are two entirely different steps we want you follow this picture for a moment you're really gonna like this so you were source energy you came forth into this physical body you experienced contrast and in the contrast you gave birth you gave birth you gave birth you gave birth rockets of desires one after the other rockets of desires until you've created this vibrational escrow now feel the power of that feel 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 what it must be feel what it was even before you got busy in the contrast and feel what it must be now that you have been busy in the contrast and feel the exponential expansion of it now that law of attraction and the source within you have focused upon it feel the power of that you see feel how big that is we can see why you'd want to be part of that feel the bigness of it now focus in a doubtful way about it and feel the discord feel how annoying this swirling magistry is since you're nowhere near it feel how unpleasant that is in other words such a difference between you and you really a strong pulling apart so to speak but now start speaking more optimistically even though you're sort of making it up and feel the little bit of relief that you feel as you begin allowing yourself to move in the direction of it now you've still got this other swirling vibration going on so you're not going willingly but you are going because this is huge when you croak it'll take you right there it's huge so now you're making an effort to be even more optimistic even more positive about it you're feeling better and better as you're coming closer and closer to it and eventually you'll come so close to this fast moving energy your breath will be taken away you'll begin to feel exhilaration and excitement and passion and clarity as you get closer and closer and closer to it and once it catches you and sweeps you it will put you right into the eye of this vortex where everything stands still where there's no fast moving energy where it will feel like that's the way it was all along haven't you seen those kind of people with that kind of confidence their tongues aren't hanging out they're not worrying about anything it seems that they say it and it happens and they say it and it happens and you're over there really annoyed at what you're witnessing with them <laughs> You want to let the laws of the universe work for you you see and the way you do it is by letting yourself get granted it takes some work in the vibrational proximity of who you really are and when you get close enough off you go and that's the day you buy the winning lottery ticket you see that's the day haven't been thinking about it 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 haven't been thinking about what you've been thinking about I'm happy I like you I like that did this having fun like this like this like this this is good I really like this isn't that beautiful look at this long list of positive aspects look how good this is look how good this is allowing 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 Here's this thing over here, pulsing, pulsing. You're allowing, 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 coming closer. All of a sudden, mm, idea within you, so powerful that wild horses could not keep you from it. You know it in the way that you knew you would be called on here today. You knew that. You lined up your energy, you knew it, and we had no choice. You are far back there. We had no choice but to find you and bring you forward because you had lined up with what was swirling over there. And the laws of the universe said it must be so no resistance in your vibration so there it is what feels like instant manifestation it's not you were getting closer and closer you said for how many months three months you've been thinking about this three months you've been thinking about it talking about it to yourself thinking about it getting in alignment with it getting inside the vibrational escrow being there feeling it knowing it so it had to be it had to be all things work that way there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have you just got to practice the thought of it until it is so familiar that it would be odd to think otherwise doesn't matter if it's through the lottery ticket or whatever it's inevitable it must come and the universe has 20 or 30 or 40 immediate opportunities lined up in any moment in time good